Good morning. Today we're here at Meyer. We're going to check the shelves, check some of the sales prices for the week, some of the things you guys have asked about. Let's get to it. So as soon as we come into Meyer here, I wanted to show that a lot of their apples have shot up in price. Red Delicious apples, which they do have in finally, are $1.59 a pound, but the sales they got on the Evercrisp apples and the Envy apples, $1.79 each. Each. $1.79 each. That's crazy. It says regular price, $2.69 each. That's nuts. The Gala apples and the Granny Smith apples are back up to $1.59 a pound. Some people were asking about grapes, how they've been less and less again. $2.49 a pound for the green seedless grapes and the red grapes, $2.49 a pound. We do see that the romaine lettuce, which a lot of people have commented on lately, are back up to $2.99 for a package of three. We've heard some people have been getting them across the country for $3.99, so a little bit better than that, but I wouldn't be surprised if they go up here soon. People have been talking about tomatoes and saying that they've been less and less. Yeah, um, we are seeing a lot less tomatoes. These are more the snacking tomatoes. We'll check out the bigger ones, but they've taken out a complete whole section of the smaller tomatoes here. It's kind of weird. Okay, so I immediately came over here to the regular tomatoes. That was the organic section. Those are usually the tomatoes I buy. Um, $1.99 a pound for the premium greenhouse tomatoes and $1.49 a pound this week the tomatoes on the vine regular price of $1.69 so not much savings but I gotta say these look the most fresh out of any of them but they do look better they look better than they have I'm not a big fan of the churub brand here the churubs um, made by nature sweet you know I'm like I said I'm not a big fan they are on sale this week, two for six dollars, though normally three ninety nine a, a thing of them. So that's kind of why I'm not a fan. It's it's pretty expensive, and they're not all that great. So I wanted to check out their russet potatoes because we've been seeing them kind of low. Well, they're not low here, but they're five forty nine a bag for eight pounds. Five forty nine for eight pounds seems a bit extreme. We saw a ten pound bag at Aldi yesterday for uh, three ninety nine. So that's definitely the place to get them. Um, yeah, it's a little expensive. I've noticed that they've put the signs up pretty much everywhere. We are experiencing delays from our suppliers. Thank you for your patience and are working diligently to replenish our supply. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things going on right now that's making it really hard on stores. I will say all the lettuce products, they are up in price, but they've been up for a while. This has been probably a little over a month. The important thing is, is that they're starting to get them back in. We've seen that this has been very low late, lately here at Meyer and Kroger. They must be getting ready for St. Patrick's Day. They have the Bratwurst on sale, all different kinds here. Buy one, get one of equal or lesser value, 40% off this week. Also, they have that, um, that's not part of this, the Meyer Sauerkraut, $1.99 a bag down from 229 so 30 cent savings um never tried this sauerkraut so they do have their chuck eye steak center eye on sale buy one get one 50 percent off equal or lesser value i will say that these are pretty high though 2809 for well almost four pounds 3.75 pounds uh so your next one of that size would be uh, 14 bucks right around but you know, here's one a little over two pounds, uh, about $16. So still a sale, and it would bring that down, but I don't know. I feel like these prices are getting a little absurd. They do have some of their pork on sale this week. Pork loin, sirloin roast, $1.49 a pound. That's not bad. Plus, this one right here has a 20% off savings. You can get this whole thing here. What is this? Uh, 4.8 pounds, $6.87. Seems like a pretty pretty good deal if you ask me. They have these pork loins, uh, $2.49 a pound. Uh, they got the ribs here. Always when you come to Meyer, check the extra stickers that they add on to this. Because I mean, this, this makes this an incredible price for this rack of ribs, $6.38. 
I mean, even if you don't plan on cooking it in a while, just freeze it. I mean, it's already, it's already got the vacuum seal, so this will last in your freezer for. They also have their pork loin, uh, the Myers ribs here. Buy one, get one 50% off of equal or lesser value. I did notice they have Porterhouse on sale this week. $9.99 a pound. That is valid until February 26. Some, uh, some okay deals here on Porterhouse. Uh, $10 for this steak right here. One pound, a little over a pound. Not too bad. I mean, we've seen this going really high in the stores. $14.99 a pound, $15.99. You know, so to see it like that, I mean, it is a lot cheaper. Not a big sirloin fan, but they do have the sirloin $6.99 a pound. Wanted to show they have more of the Chuck Eye roast. You always have to check the end cabinets here because this is where they'll put like a lot of the extra. And this is usually where I find the best ones. Uh, this is three pounds here for $21. That seems a bit much, but you do get one, an extra one, half off. So it looks like the sale of the Myers hamburger is over with. It is now $5.29 a pound. Man, you know, it's just, it's crazy. $20, $26.50 for five pounds of meat. You saw that we got the 8812 at Sam's Club for right around $20. And it's delicious. We love Myers meat too, but I'm not going to pay that price. So we've had people commenting about Egos again and the lack thereof. I will say they do seem like they have some here at Meyer, but one thing I wanted to point out, and they do have this on sale, but it's a sale of what the regular price was a couple weeks ago. These were $2.49. Now, for the big one that I used to get of the blueberry, they were $4.99. Now they're up to $5.89. You can get them two for 10 which is the sale of what the price of these were a couple weeks ago, which, yeah, okay, that's cool. I know that I can buy one now and still get it for the same price, but, you know, these are the kind of things that we might not want to wait on. When we see these deals, we might want to pick them up because that's going to be the price probably next week. Didn't want to show there's no sale on these, but we always get comments about the Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches and bowls and stuff like that. I did want to show that they are still the same price. Knock on wood, $5.99 for the four count. Um, now, we, where are the eight counts? Okay, eight count, $11.29. Okay, so these are up a uh, dollar. These were $9.99 not that long ago. So they're up $1.29. These are the same price. I'm expecting these are probably going to go up. This will probably go up again, too. I really don't know. I am seeing a lot more berries and fruits, frozen fruits, that some people have asked about. Also, they have the frozen orange juices. That some, uh, someone asked about this not too long ago. Uh, $2.49 for the Minute Maid Lemonade. Orange juice is a little more for $2.79. I feel like these are the same prices. Um, hard to tell though because we haven't seen them anywhere. So good to see that these are finally starting to come back in. They also have this, uh, the Meyer brand orange juice for $1.39. Uh, they have a lot of the Dole mixed fruits and uh, you know frozen fruits looks like these are right around the same price anytime there's a berry mix I feel they're a little more we even saw that at Aldi $6.29 for this one uh, $3.89 for this triple berry mix dole right here though and I do believe that these are up I think these were $3.99 and now they're $4.49 pretty crazy do you see that Meyer has gotten a shipment in of their fries? This has been a hot commodity lately. Uh, we've been seeing fries kind of going out the door in all the grocery stores around here. Uh, we can see that Orida is still short, but they do have a few bags in. We've seen this was completely wiped out the last time we were here. You have the Arby's fries that some people have asked about. $2.89 a bag too, that's a pretty good deal. We usually get the Rallies ones here for $2.89. These are delicious, well seasoned. Um, they have a sale on something here that doesn't exist. They don't have it. Um, but yeah, the Rallies ones are good. Uh, Arby's ones are good too. I'd probably pick these over those. So it looks like their regular price, at least for now on the Geta, is $6.29, which is funny because this has been $6.49 for months. So it's actually down and they had some sales on it. I said it would be going up and it did at Walmart. $7.28.
for the same thing. So a dollar more at Walmart, maybe Myers is just able to get a special deal on it. We'll have to keep our eye on that because there's been a lot of trickery going on in the prices lately where we go up to the register and they're more than what they say on here. Um, now, I haven't had that problem at Meyer. They do have the Meyer roll sausage, two for five dollars. They have a couple of them here. This is only the hot though. And the fully cooked original or thick bacon, Oscar Meyer, two for six dollars. Uh, a few sales. Glad to see that they're not having much trouble getting in the fish. Now, we've seen that it's it's been kind of an issue with the Gortons. I know we have a lot of Gortons lovers out there. And they are starting to get this stuff in pretty much everywhere. We've switched to Vanda Camps though because the last Gordon's batch we had wasn't all that great. I'm pretty sure that it was just maybe just a bad batch of it. I really don't know. But Vanda Camps, I don't know. Maybe we just fell in love with that one and uh, Gordon's just doesn't taste the same. Not really sure. They do have some more Tyson products in, but I gotta say they're really starting to shoot up here. 839. $8.39 a bag. Now we saw uh, that they had chicken nuggets. Okay, so yeah, they're out of chicken nuggets, but they're $5.79 here. I think this was a price mistake because we saw at Kroger that they had these listed as eight something. And I don't think that was the case because we went back and then it was $5.99. So a little cheaper here, but they don't have them. We've gotten a lot of comments on Stouffer's meals. Um, they are starting to get a lot of these back in, and especially like the lot, a lot of the different kinds that you guys have asked about, like the smaller lasagnas. I understand every, not everybody has a huge family and can buy the big lasagna thing, even though you could put it away and save it for later. Uh, they do have the smaller portions back in and a lot more options, which is good because we kind of thought that they were getting rid of a lot of these. So this is probably the most Marie Callender's chicken pot pies that we've seen. We saw at Kroger, they were completely wiped out again. Um, $3.29 a piece now. $3.29 a piece. Uh, you know, they that's been the price for a few weeks now. But just wanted to point out for those who didn't know, they are up $0.30. Cents. Some people were asking about the Encore meals. Um, they don't have the chicken one that somebody had mentioned. But they do have some of them here. They got the Salisbury steak, chicken Alfredo, the lasagna. Um, and they're pretty cheap. $3.09 for seems like a family-sized meal. They do have the gravy and sliced white meat turkey, which I haven't seen before. Wanted to point out one of our longtime viewers on the channel was talking about the grandma's chicken and vegetable rice bake Stouffer's, the family size. They do have them back in here. $7.99. Um, you know, I want to say I think these used to be $6.99, but I'm not sure. $7.99. We are going to try this at some point. I wanted to show they do have Cheez-Its on sale this week. When you buy two or more, two for $5. They're up to $3.29 a box now, so $2.50 a piece. So if you really want Swanson chicken broth, a good place to come is Meyer because their regular price is $2.19. Have a feeling that might be going up, though. We've seen it for $2.79. At Kroger also they do have the Meyer brand which we've never tried before but it is a dollar 39 do kind of have to check all the different prices Meyer kind of mixes up the different Campbell's prices so one could be a dollar 79 one could be a dollar 69 pretty high for the smaller 10.5 cans of soup 10.5 ounces of Campbell's soup um, dollar 79 for tomato soup that's, that's a little pricey if you're not Name brand specific though, I will say their tomato soup's really good and it's only 59 cents a can. Uh, most of their cans of stuff, 89 cents. Uh, chicken noodle, never tried the chicken noodle, 59 cents a can though. Much cheaper than Campbell's and, and you know we may be trying more and more of these products as we go along here because yeah, I mean it's, it's getting way too expensive. It does seem like they have more cereal in than usual but we are seeing that prices have gone up. This was $2.99, now it's $3.19. $3.29 for the crunch. Um, but this was, man, this was, okay, so this was $3.19 before. This was $2.99, now this is up another 10 cents. I don't know, I don't really care too much for the oat crunch cereal, just the regular stuff for me, but for the most part, it does seem like they've got a good amount of cereals in. Um, you know, they are starting to go up, though. 
$4.19 for the large size Cheerios. Uh, they looks like they have a sale on it though. Let's check the date. Expires March 5th. Um, okay. So three for nine dollars. Uh, that makes them three dollars a piece. So yeah, that's a pretty good sale, really. And they have that on the Honey Nut Cheerios as well. Three for nine dollars. So if you like your cereal, might be worth making a trip to Meyer and uh, stock up on some of these decent deals. They also have some of the more expensive ones, uh, like the Oat Crunch stuff like that, for the three for nine deals. So yeah, not a bad price. Considering, you know, they've kind of skyrocketed lately. The normal price, not too long ago. Campbell's Chunky has gone up here over the last few weeks. It's been this for a little while. I just wanted to point it out. These were $1.99 a can. Now they're up to $2.15 a can. Not as bad as Kroger there, though, where they are $2.59 a can right now. I'm expecting a lot of this stuff to start going up here at Meyer too, and we never really know when. It could go up at any time. Uh, also, Progresso, I believe they had a sale on it at Kroger. Um, I think it was two for four. I don't know if that sale's going on anymore, but they do have the regular price here, two oh nine for now. They are two forty nine a can at Kroger. What's this here? Progresso soup, traditional chicken, wild rice, dollar seventy nine. $1.79 a can, but that is the only one that's on sale. All the other ones are $2.09 a can. Uh, here's one more. The spicy chipotle corn chowder. Probably the ones that they can't sell. Um, $1.79 a can. Oh, no. They do have the lower calorie chicken noodle. 130 calories per can on sale this week, too, for $1.79. So, yeah, okay. Three Progresso types that are on sale this week for less than $2. Those, if you like them. Looks like the SpaghettiO Massacre continues. Um, they do have some, but we've been seeing that it's been a lot less and less at Kroger. Uh, we saw not many at Target the other day at all. Um, but yeah, it's, we've been getting some comments on this. And Chef Boyardee, surprisingly, you know, we've seen Chef Boyardee all over the place. I mean, and now it is it's starting to get less and less i wonder if that has anything to do with the spaghettios i'm not a big fan of chef boy rd i do like spaghettios um but yeah we've gotten a lot of comments on these lately so i just wanted to point them out okay so i feel like this thing of oats has gone up 42 ounces same same size 449 i could have sworn these were 399 about a little over a week ago so these have gone up a little bit, but one important thing is, is that they do have them because we've heard from you guys across the, across the country that Quaker Oats has been very low. We haven't had that issue um, as far as Quaker, but we have noticed that a lot of like store brands like Kroger brand Meyer has been low. Good to see Meyer's got theirs back in um, and they do seem to have plenty of the different 18 value pack, 4 dollars 18 packs for $4.99. Doesn't seem like too bad of a deal there. Uh, of course, Myers brand is a little cheaper. Never tried any of the Myers brands. We have tried Kroger, and I will say that Kroger to me is just as good as any of the Quaker products. Starting to get very low on the canned beef products. A lot of you guys have asked about Keystone. They do have the chicken and the beef. No pork. We haven't seen pork anywhere. It's pretty much been gone. Now the beef is a little more expensive at $9.49 a can. Um, for a 28 ounce can, $7.39 for the chicken, so that's a little cheaper. Both of these are really good, and they have a pretty long shelf life. Both of these have best if used by dates of 2027. That's a great shelf life. So they don't have the sale that they had last week, but they do have the Swanson chicken still. They do have these two packs for $5.39. The chicken and dumplings from the Sweet Sue brand is completely gone, which is funny because this was full the last time we seen it. The bone chicken is always packed up though, so that kind of tells me that nobody likes it. We got a lot of bad comments on that, so um, they do have the Meyer brand of the white chicken, but these are $2.49 a can, a little cheaper than the same size, 12.5 ounces of the Swanson. Uh, this has gone up to $3.19, these were $2.99. Um, we did see that Aldi had the same size, 12 and a half ounces for $2.49. So, 
yeah, a little cheaper on that. I'm not really sure. Um, never tried the Meyer brand before, but 249 for those, 319 for the same size. Best deal is this. They do have their cheese on sale this week, three for five dollars. That's a pretty good deal. Um, and this does include their shredded cheese too. More importantly, they have it in. They have. Uh, they're missing some of their shredded cheese, but they have most of their sliced cheese. And this is good because we've seen this was pretty near empty the last time we were here. I like to call Meyer the house of pasta sauce. It seems like they have so much here. They don't know what to do with it all. Three for five dollars on the ragu uh, this week. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, save a dollar. You know, if you eat a lot of spaghetti or just want to stock up on it for a while. Um, yeah, this is the most... Uh, most pasta sauce we've seen anywhere. I mean, it's crazy how much they get in here. Some of you were asking about salt um, and it being very low in a lot of the stores. They do have plenty of salt here, no doubt. We saw plenty at Kroger as well. One thing we are seeing less and less of is spices. Spices are, you know, we saw a few months ago that spices were kind of going out the door. Maybe they just can't get the ingredients or get them in. Point out that they do have the canned Crisco in here now too. $6.99, I believe that's 48 ounces. Looks like the same one I saw yesterday. 48 ounces. And they do have a couple other brands, the Butter Flavor. They have the Meyer uh, version here, $4.59. So a couple dollars cheaper on that. I don't know if that makes a difference to you. Um, and they do have a lot more cooking oil in than they've had in a while. Meyer Vegetable. Oil is $3.29 for the 48 ounce. We've seen that this was $3.99 for the Kroger version. $4.59 for Crisco here. $4.99 at Kroger. Some of you were asking about canned fruits. They do have them here, and they look pretty plentiful. They have the Del Monte ones, $1.89 a can. Obviously, these are going to be a little more expensive than the vegetables. More importantly, they got them in, too. And we're starting to see more and more dull dole cans of the pineapple that a lot of you guys have asked about $1.79 a can that is up to from $1.49 so a little more expensive but at least they have them in if you're not picky about your canned vegetables then you can buy five of the Meyer brand right now get one free five cans of vegetables 89 cents a piece which is you know comparable to Kroger's uh, a lot of Kroger's are 75 cents to 85 cents depending on what you get but that's a pretty decent deal buy five get one free you know, it's better than nothing and uh, they do hey look at this we haven't seen lima beans in a while somebody was asking about lima beans 15 ounce can 89 cents and this is part of the buy five get one free uh yeah wow looks like uh, some del monte has gone up here dollar 75 this is a particular type though we see it's still a dollar 19 for the regular cans of like green beans and corn and stuff like that dollar 19 a can um but they've gone up to a dollar 50 a can at kroger they had a, what looked to be a sale where it said two for three dollars so it may even go up more than that so still a little cheaper here at meyer but bet that's going to go up in price here soon and this is why i believe some of these things may even be going up as fast as this week here at meyer Look at these Nora pasta sides. $1.35 a bag. $1.35. That is crazy. We saw that um, they did go up at Target to $1.19. They were on sale at Kroger for a dollar, but then they were going up to $1.19. So I don't know, $1.35. No thanks. I'll just I'll get it when I go to Kroger or something. They do have some of their coffee on sale this week. Normally $8.49, so that's gone up for the Ground Pikes Place. $6.49 this week. Also, there is a Starbucks deal going on. Earn a $3 reward for your next purchase when you spend $30. You have to spend $30. That used to be $20 or $25. Now they bump that up to $30, but you know what? In the long run, you can stock up and probably save a few dollars by doing that. And uh, they do have not a great deal on the on the Keurig cups, seven ninety nine. I don't know if that's going to be the regular price. I don't know. It seems like these prices are just going up every day. Wanted to check out this Folgers deal going on this week. Buy one Folgers ground coffee, twenty point six to thirty point five ounces for seven forty nine. Get one 
Dollar Off International Delight Coffee Creamer, 64 ounce. Wow, seems like a lot of work to get a dollar off something that you're still paying for. I don't know. If you drink that though, yeah, maybe a good deal. Um, $8.99. That's it says for $7.99, but these are all $8.99. That's what I'm talking about. Like these prices, they're all screwy. They say $7.99. So is it $7.99? $8.99. My money says it's $8.99. However, that being said, I will say they do have the decaf for $8.99, which is actually a better deal. We've been seeing the same size decaf Folgers for $10 something. Um, so yeah, definitely a good deal on that anyway. But yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. Well, guys, that's all the time I have from Meyer today. Thank you so much for watching. With all that being said, I'm out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.